everyone, and welcome back to the Unreal World Let's Play. Sorry about last episode. I was really playing very poorly, and it had its expected outcome, of course. I don't really have any plans for this character. I don't even really know what I want to do. Let's start in summer. Uh, we will It's not bad. I'll take that. One thing in the quest for catch. Oh, now that I mention it, I don't know now that I think of it rather, I don't know if I ever explained what the difference between the character selections is, like the difference between difficulties basically just determines what the maximum number of points you can put into each skill is, and on the easier ones, you can take points out of a skill. So, like, right now we have five points. If we were on one of the easier settings, we could put all of that, we could put, you know, two or three points into fishing rather than just one. And we would also be capable of taking points out of fishing by pressing subtract. But because I always play on the sort of normal setting, you can only put one point into any given stat, and you can't take points out to lower it below its starting point. So, as per usual, I'm taking bow. Our melee skills are actually pretty good. All of our skills are pretty good. Take... Hmm. Not sure what I want. Guess I'll take carpentry. Take trapping. So I think this character I might like settle down like I normally do. It was fun having an exploring character, and I might do sort of a mix of exploring and settling. But I don't really feel like doing another like character that's always on the move. It was just really uncomfortable for me. It doesn't mesh well with my playstyle and I don't know, I got bored of it really quickly. What you may have noticed is not a good thing when you're trying to not die. Like part of why I was so careless in that episode is just that I was really bored of wandering around in the wilderness with nothing to do. So we were in the north last time, so let's move somewhere farther south. I want to be near the Remy? Remy? I don't know. Yeah, around here. And again, I tend not to stay near the uh, Drake villages just because they have a lot of stuff to trade and it feels a little too easy doing that sometimes. Which one haven't we done? Did abandoned camp last time. We tried unfortunate hunting trip. We did... I don't think we did village actually. That's one of the easier ones. Hmm. Hurt, Helpless, and Afraid went pretty poorly. Let's start near a village. <laughs> At the age of 16, you've left your home and village during your childhood and as adolescent years. You've learned the skills and ways of your people until you decide it was time for you to go search for a path of your own, whatever it might be. One day, a small party of men from your village were about to go on a trading journey to some faraway tribes. They promised to lead you to the village that was on their way, if so wished. I'm still having trouble reading this font on this background. Where it would be more safe for you to start living on your own. And so it was. The party left you standing outside the village as they continued on their way. Housing the village seemed very cozy after the long trip, but 
about the people you weren't too sure. You knew that you hadn't come here just to settle down again. Well, sort of. I haven't come here to settle down at a village. But it would probably be a good idea to see what the villager village had to offer before rushing ahead. So it's, it provides a safe way to start the journey, and you may equip your character carefully before moving on. Um, let's just start with the advanced adventures. <laughs> And, yep, yeah, source of livelihood, I got it. Apparently there's two villages here. Hmm, what do you have? What do we have? I'll check our inventory after we check his. Longbow and some arrows. Uh, we have a knife and a spear, a hand axe, a fine hunting bow, five arrows. Wow, we started off really well off. Damn. And some food and some clothes. So we did start off really well equipped. What does this village actually have? Barley flour. Hmm. Not a lot, basically. Where are we on the map? We're inside their territory. Like, pretty deep inside their territory, actually. Fur. Asshole closed the door behind me while I was trying to back out. Knife and some food. Out the way, man. So, nothing too terribly useful, but we have a nice place that we can come back to at any given time if we run into trouble. Which is really the biggest advantage of starting in a village. really tempting to try to hunt this thing, but I somewhat doubt that would go well. <clears throat> well, we'll see how densely forested it is in this mire. Doesn't look too bad. Can we hide? No. Not escaping, is it? What's our skill? 80? Yeah, it's not a terrible shot. Ah, it's us. A faster way. We're pretty fast. So it's probably worth chasing it. I don't think this is the fastest character we've had, but we can at least sort of keep up with it. And with the town right nearby, we can probably trade most of the meat before it spoils. Or non-perishable stuff. Before we head out into the woods to find our home. You'll notice I tend to do this a lot. Try to get an early, like, stag or something. Like I said in the last episode, it just, if you can get one early, normally it gives you enough food and stuff that you 
don't really have to worry about starving for a very long time. So it's usually worth chasing after one, even if you're not a great hunter. Good, you ran back towards the open. Sort of. Please don't keep running that way. Please. Where'd you go? I think I saw you over here. Yep, there you are. Cool. And he's not in the woods anymore. Trying to keep him away from the trees, the like densely packed trees. Which is why I'm going in sort of a roundabout way to chase him. Okay, how are you looking? Slightly fatigued. Alright, could be better, but definitely not terrible. You know, whatever, go through the water, I don't care. Where are you going? Come on back. I just want to eat you and maybe sell you parts of you. If I wasn't talking to an elk, that would sound like something a serial killer would say. Not an elk, a stag. I better not get in trouble for killing you in a village. I know some of the ownership issues are buggy right now. And it might be the case that if I kill him in village territory, he'll be considered stolen. Finally breathless. Yep. Cool. And we have a really nice spear to murder you with. What's our spear skill? So very good. Cool. We got a really good start on this character. Right. Skin, not tan. <laughs> so I'm thinking of taking another project on and making this maybe like a once a week project. Something like that. Just to keep me like interested because I feel like I end up doing a lot of the same thing. I got a decent skin off of that. Maybe not once a week, but maybe like twice a week. Because I like to record every other day. Which I haven't been able to do lately as much as I like, but... Alright, we can actually carry all of it too. I like to try to record every other day though. Lately it hasn't worked out because I got sick and now there's like sawing and hammering in the next room. Which conspire against that plan. But the game that I've been thinking of replacing this one with, or not replacing with, but supplementing with, is a Game Boy roguelike that somebody on Twitter, I, I'm sorry I can't remember who, Tried Pike. Uh, hey, dude, trade with me. Alright, so, got what, eight pounds of dried pike? So I would guess around like 30. And we could start halfway. Let's try another 60. Deal. Some roasted elk cuts I don't need. What do you have? 
think you're the one I just bought stuff from. Mm, barley grains would be nice. Stop closing fucking doors behind me. People are rude. So rude. That's why I'm not living in the village with you. You're all assholes. Barley flour. I would rather have the grains, I think. Uh, woodsman's axe. We have a fine... No, we have a regular hand axe. That's not bad. So, I won't worry about the woodsman's axe just, axe just yet. Did I finish my thought? Anyway, the... Right, the, um... Sorry, I'm really scatterbrained lately. It's a problem I have sometimes. But the uh, Game Boy game is uh, Cave Noir. And it's by Konami. It was only released in Japan, but I found a guide that translates most of the menus and stuff. It's sort of a roguelike. It's hard to classify, really. It's roguelike-ish. Has a lot of roguelike elements. So where are those barley grains? Kind of like those. Flower. And, I don't know, I've been playing it a lot lately. It's really fun. And I'm sorry I can't remember who it was that told me about it. My memory is terrible. But it was somebody on Twitter. I'd like to pay my debt. I've tripled, so I hope. 12, 24, 36. Alright, thanks buddy. Alright, I think it's time to head back to that other town. And see if they have anything useful. A spear, a net. I don't think we can get a net. I don't really care so much about nets. A lot of people recommend getting a net, but I don't really bother with them most of the time. And yeah, something you might notice about the squirrels in this game. When you're trying to find a squirrel or chase down a squirrel, they'll never come close to you. When you don't care about the squirrel, They'll run right in front of you like that. A net in the sauna? That's a weird place to keep your net, peoples. Skin would be nice, actually. I'm not too worried about it. Rye flower. So yeah, this is one of the benefits of starting your village, though, because you can just immediately start trading for more useful things than the stuff you start with. Uh, he's not that helpful. Ooh, food stockpile. Roasted, dry... Two more dry pikes. I can take those. Um, halfway. And yeah, dried pike is probably one of the better foods you can trade for. It's because it's pretty lightweight, very nutritious, and it lasts a long time. Just generally very useful. Nice to have rivers around here too. I don't think our last character 
at rivers. Why did we start in a fucking dog pen? That's just really weird. Who walks into a town and the first thing they do is dive face first into a pen of dogs? So we can't trade for all of his arrows, but we can probably trade for like six of them. Replace the one arrow we lost to. Time to get out of here and I guess build a shelter. Where's my wheat bread? Oh, apparently we already have enough food for that. Did we just get no man's land automatically? Done? No. Okay. So we can head down here though. I just want to get a little bit out of their territory. Is there any good like hunting land around here or any hills where I can see for a good distance? a nice spot. So I think I'll... No, I like living in the denser forested areas. It's because it makes it easier to find a house. Well, not find a house, but build one. Okay, I think this will do. There's a meadow over there. It's pretty nice. Right over here by the rapids. Rapids are nice because they don't freeze over in winter, and I've noticed you get bigger fish out of them when you fish from them. I don't know if that's just something that I've imagined or what, but it seems to be the case. So let's eat some of our smoked food, take a drink, clean the stone skin. Okay, never mind, let's sleep first then. And clean the skin now, since we're really tired. I might make this a bit of a long episode to make up for my sort of spotty recording lately. And we need to get this character like on our feet anyway. Uh, decent. Okay. Let's eat. And start the tanning process with the fat. I know some people have told me that I shouldn't use the fat for tanning. I should save it for food because it is one of the more nutritious parts of the animal, but I actually don't really care enough to like gather bark every time I want to tan hides because sometimes the trees are kind of annoying to come by. So I tend to just use the fat because it, you always get it. 
and it's not so valuable to me, especially with something large like an elk. I have enough food from this elk already. Okay, let's build our shelter a little bit closer to the water so we can actually see the water's edge and keep an eye on anything we have going on over there. Right on this little hill, I think. Make, build, shelter. There. That gives us a nice little. Oh. Forgot about that. That was the no man's land thing. Harvest, we'll have to do later. Or we'll find some berries, whichever comes first. Fire. Make a fire. Thank you. And yeah, I'm trying not to actually eat the dried food if I don't have to. Drop barley grains for now. So that'll be a little while. So, what do we need? We have clothes. We have quite a bit of food. Spear, arrows, hand axe, knife. So I could probably drop the dried food here too. I meant to drop it over there, but whatever. And head out into the wilderness. It's a meadow over here. I wonder if there's any berries growing. We could probably get that harvesting out of the way if there are. No, but there's a lot of pretty neat trees. Oh. That's not right. Yeah, sure. Cool. Got harvest out of the way. Milkweed is, I think, good for, what is it, bleeding? Not sure. Can't remember now. Yeah, to see more, I'll have to try to I'll have to remember to use herbalism on it. Oh, what is herbalism? Herblor. Thinking of Dwarf Fortress now. Do not recognize it. Alright, so nothing in particular going on over here. It's nighttime now. Having this rapids here actually helps quite a bit in finding our little shelter. It's nice to have a landmark. Alright, okay again, and then we'll probably have to what? Go grab a work surface. Um, F. <laughs> oh, sorry I've been breathing into the mic more than normal lately. I've uh, been trying to cut it in editing, 
but I miss some of them, and some of it is mid word, which is awkward to try to cut. this over here, it'll be our work surface. And we need a club. Make weapon club. Doesn't matter if it's bad. It's not bad. So that will work for beating the hide. Is there anything of interest along this water? Mm, doesn't look like it. Should start gathering stones though for a cellar. I'm leaving the rocks because we have arrows already. I'm not too concerned about making more right now. But we definitely need stones. Luckily our character is pretty strong, so she can actually carry quite a lot. What actually is the uh sorry, my voice cracked. I don't know what that was about. What actually is the weight that is referred to by the unit of measure a stone. Anyway, like is it actually 14 pounds? Do these stones actually weigh a stone? I actually have no idea. Never thought about it before. I should look that up after the episode. I'm clearly going to forget, but I should. So what is it for a cellar again? Uh, six trunks, six boards, ten stones. Alright, well, we have the stones. I don't know why I can never remember that. I've built enough of them that you'd think I would, but nope. I have to actually eat something, don't I? Would help anyway. Haul all of this back over here very slowly. I think I'll build this up around here actually. I don't know why I'm walking backwards over here. It's not even done yet. And I think we need a shovel, don't we? Probably. Which means we should cut down another tree. I think we saw a shovel in town. So we'll chop this one into blocks. Should probably do with a bowl actually too. So won't be a complete waste. 
actually going to push that over there too so it's not near where our fireplace is. So it's evening. Could probably make a wooden shovel. If I can remember what the button is. Axe, knife. Yep, we have everything. Then we can go to bed after the shovel is done and work on our cellar. Actually, our character is probably going to collapse once the shovel is done. It's probably not even going to be good quality, but we do have fairly okay carpentry. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Bunker leaks me. Woke up in the afternoon, really? That sucks. Alright, well. Should have to get a drink while I was there. Prioritize the hide so it doesn't go bad first. And then we'll build our cellar. If I build a house, I'm probably going to do it off screen because it takes a long time and there's really nothing to say about it. Like, you've all seen me build a house. Well, actually, I've gotten quite a few more viewers since the quality improved, so maybe you haven't seen me build a house, but if you watch me build a single wall, then you'll understand how the house works pretty much. Pretty self-explanatory once you get the general gist of it. Alright, so have a decent quality stag there. Not bad. Let's take a bit of a rest. Actually let's sleep because it's late. Um Cell cuts. I should drop these so I don't accidentally eat them actually. So let's split into boards. No, split firewood. Uh, oh, it's just beefy boards. Okay. So this will take all day, apparently. But, well. Hopefully we get some decent boards, actually. I'd like to have some trade stuff. We got five decent boards. So I'm going to take the decent ones and drop them over here. And you'll notice I tend to use only really poor quality boards in construction work, which if you're doing it in real life is probably a terrible idea, but in the game it, there's no reason to use high quality boards for your cellar or your house. It doesn't make a difference. And this will definitely take a while because we're using a wooden shovel. And using primitive tools like that tends to add a couple hours to your task. It's gone by faster than I expected though. Rest off that fatigue first. Drag all this shit over here. There. And 
yeah, we ate less than half of that dried pike earlier. And we should still have a little bit left. Yep. Cool. Hmm. So, what do we need now? We have a cellar, we have something resembling a house. W. So, could use some clothes. Could use a cap. A. What am I thinking of? Cap and a hood. So, let's get working on those. So we're pretty well off now. We still have most of that fur left. I guess I should turn it into cord. <coughs> Sorry, suppressing a cough. Yeah, I guess a, I guess turning it into cord would be the best way to go about it for now. So we don't have to worry about it, about making cord when um, when we actually catch an animal and want to smoke it, or dehydrate it, or whatever we do with it. Finish off our pike, and start the next one. So I'll probably make like 20 cords out of it. And I don't know what I'll do with the rest of the hide, what's left. I might just turn into like footwear or mittens or something and trade it. <coughs> I'm actually getting pretty good cords here. Just surprising to me. Guess we could start on a trap fence once we're done with this. So how many courts is that? Twenty. I don't really know if I want to do anything else with that hide or if I want to hold on to it in case I need it. I mean, if it were rough, I would just turn it all into cords, but I kind of want to make some clothes out of it, just to trade it for stuff, basically. Because it is pretty valuable. Uh, nighttime. And footwear, I don't know if that's still the case in this version, in 3.18, but in 3.17, I think, it was the most um, like cost-efficient way to trade your hides. Because it uses like 2.8, which is not the lowest, but it's lowest for the cost of the item when you trade it. <coughs> if that makes sense to anybody, I don't know if it does. Basically, trading footwear, you get more per hide than if you traded, say, mittens or caps, something like that. Right, and I'll just leave whatever's left of it to be used later. <coughs> Here we go. 
afternoon. So apparently we're on like an edge or something between two map tiles in that spot. Sorry about that. I'm trying not to cough in the recordings, but it doesn't work out so well. Wow, it took us forever to eat that thing. Well, not forever. We actually finished it, but it took us quite a while. Longer than it probably should have. Did we need to do the sauna? Yeah. Right, this is the village where we spawn next to dogs. Some punts in here. It's not bad. Might have to... get a punt, actually. Oh, it's not even lit. Leave those there for now. Do you have anything interesting? Trade. Try to get the rest of your arrows. And this is probably going to be overkill for a couple arrows, but I don't care. I need to find something to light a fire. I didn't really need to walk that far away. I could have just gone to the overhead map. But... Well. It's a raspberry bush. Off everything. Which will take a little bit. Naked. Although a small child is watching me walk around naked. Apply on top of water. There. Drop both of those and put on all my clothes. Except for that. Um. Oh. Right. For a second I thought it was telling us we already, like, gathered that, like we completed that, but no, it was just telling us that we have to do that now. What's in here? We didn't even come to this part of town. Beaver fur, axe, trident, migraines. Axe. Actually, getting some of these axes would probably be in our best interest. Short bow and perfect net. 
bit of a short sword. It's pretty cool. Not very useful, but it's pretty cool. Most of the weapons aren't that useful, really, because like take like crossbows. Most cultures start off with almost no crossbow skill. So even if you do find one, it takes so long to get good at them that it's not even worth it. Just take a nap in their storehouse. Apparently a bunch of people have the same idea. Was there one of the villages we didn't go to? I think we visited all four. This was our starting village. Pretty sure it was anyway. Could be wrong. Not particularly useful right now since we don't have an oven. Smoked pikes. Probably worth picking up. Is one of these enough? Two of them for a couple days worth of food. It's not terrible. How many arrows do we have? 15. It's enough. We don't need more than 15 for now. going on up here. Not a whole hell of a lot. Okay. Game? Thank you. This episode's closing in on an hour long. Should probably cut it when we get back home. So, yeah, I'm gonna cut it here. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye!